Hi everyone, welcome to Sports Broadcasting Center, along with Matthew Norman, Jason Wooden, and Zach Jones. I'm Jason Wooden. Mike Trout has played in just one playoff series in his remarkable 10-year big league career, and that was eight years ago, but this might be the year. Trout and, and reigning National League MVP Shohei Otani make a run in October for the Los Angeles Angels. Trout, a three-time MVP, is putting up historic numbers, and Otani continues to impress at the plate and on the mound. Earlier this season, Otani hit his 100th career home run, beginning just the second play being the second player in the MLB history with at least 100 homers as a batter and 250 strikeouts as a pitcher. The other player was Babe Ruth. The Memphis Grizzlies might be a small market team, but they plan to do whatever it takes to keep John Morant in the fold. The NBA All-Star and most improved player in 2022 is eligible for a five-year maximum contract extension. Grizzlies general manager Zach Kleeman says he intends to keep the team's core in place as well as making sure that Morant stays in Memphis for a long period of time. Morant ranked ninth among players in the league merchandise this season and led the team to its highest playoff seeding ever at number two in the Western Conference before being eliminated by the Golden State Warriors. Sale of the Denver Broncos could reach $5 billion, but there is no short of an interested billionaires to buy the NFL franchise. Team president Joe Ellis says the new owner number one priority will be building a new $2 billion dome stadium, allowing the Broncos to host a Super Bowl for the first time. Chelsea, the Premier League soccer team, sold for $3.1 billion in May, but the most ever paid for a team in any sport. Who's is that? <laughs> okay, NBC Sunday Sunday Night Football, the number one show on television for 11 no, years in a row, has named the first female lead host of football at night in America. Maria Taylor de debuted on the studio show last year as a co-host with Mike Trico, Tarico, but will take over this season with Tarico moving into the booth to play handle to handle play by play. Taylor joined NBC Sports last year after failing to work out a contract with ESPN. The NFL kicks off the 2022 season on NBC September 8th when the defending Super Bowl champions Rams host the Buffalo Bills. We are just months away from the World Cup in Qatar. The United States men's national team will be back on the global stage after missing out on the 2018 World Cup in Russia. The U.S. faces England in its opening match. The two nations have formed quite a rivalry, rivalry over the years. In 1950, the United States pulled off one of the greatest upsets in World Cup history, winning one to nothing over the heavily favored Brits. Only four Americans returned from the disappointing 2018 team, including Chelsea star forward, forward Christian Pulisic. This will be the 11th time the U.S. men's national team has qualified for the World Cup with its best finish coming in, in 1930 in the semifinals. The college football season is fast approaching, but the Southern, Southeastern Conference is looking ahead to 2025 when Oklahoma and Texas join the SEC, making it a new 16-team super conference. The SEC has a goal of every school in, in football visiting each of the other 15 schools at least once every four years. Meanwhile, the Big Ten plans to reshape its future, scheduling alignment and championship arrangement beginning in 2023. The Big Ten is discussing elimination of divisions and staging a football title game between the top two teams in the 14-team conference. That's it for, t for a busy day in sports. For my co-anchors, Jason Wooden and Matthew Norman, I'm Jason. Thanks for watching Sports Broadcasting Center.